it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful and luxurious chocolate covered strawberry shawlette. I love shawlettes because they're just a little something. If you just need a little something around your neck, um, you could wear them outdoors, but you could also wear them um, in the house or an indoor space where you just need a little bit of something. And they're really cute and you can style them a bunch of different ways. In fact, I have some photos over on the blog of some different ways you can wear this kind of uh, asymmetrical or you could like drape it around your shoulders like a traditional shawl or you could even put this point down the front of you and sort of wear it almost like a bandana. So these are fun little pieces to um, have different uh, colors for different seasons and different moods as well. We're gonna be making some very easy lace using some double crochet stitches and some chains as well. And we're gonna start from the bottom point and work our way upward and outward. Now our finished shawlette is from this point here straight up is about 16 and a half inches. From the bottom of our triangle, going outward like this on either side really is 26 inches and then the top edge of our triangle is about 43 inches. Now you can make this as wide and as tall as you would like it to be simply by working more rows of the pattern. We're going to be using a special yarn which I'm going to talk about soon in just a minute and this is just a decadent, lovely, luxurious little piece that is fun to wear and also makes a wonderful little gift as well. So let's get started. For this project, you'll need a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, a tape measure is helpful if you want to measure as you go along. We're going to be using a five millimeter H crochet hook. As a side note, this is my Furls Streamline. I'll put the link down below if you want to get one of your own. And then the yarn, we're going to be using a really special skein um, from City Girl Country Girl Yarns. Uh, we did a giveaway for this not too long ago. This is their chocolate dipped strawberry colorway. So how fun is that? It's brown and red and some burgundy back here, some bright green and pink. So really fun yarn. This is a DK weight. It's 230 yards, 100 percent superwash merino. So a DK weight, 230 yards for this project and your five millimeter H crochet hook. So let's get started. Okay, so I didn't mention this before, but I went ahead and wound the skein up into a cake. Um, you could also wind it into a ball if you don't have a ball winder, um, or a Swift really. If you don't have the Swift, uh, the big spinny thing, you could get the Umbrella Swift or the other style with the pegs. Um, you could have someone hold it or the um, old timey way is to just put it on the back of a chair. So you could wind this a multitude of different ways, but it looks really neat all wound up. I just wanted to mention that. The other thing I like to do when I have yarn cakes is um, they also, the City Girl Country Girl yarns where this yarn came from, they make these um, cuffs that are like stretchy and you can uh, drop your cake down in there and it'll all stay together and as you use it the stretchiness kind of holds it in the whole time um, they're really easy to use and fun and pretty so um, I'll put the links down below for this yarn and these cake cuffs are also in their shop so stop by and say hello they have tons of cake uh, cuffs like this all different styles and prints and they have some really pretty yarn so um, I just wanted to show you how this cake cuff worked really quick too because whenever I do a yarn cake now, um, I use one of these cuffs and look how cute and easy that is. All right, so we're going to pull a little bit of yarn out and get started. Um, our pattern has a multiple of four plus two. So if you're not familiar with that concept, that just means when you're doing your starting chain, you're gonna go four plus four plus four and so forth until you get the width that you like and then add two more onto that. Now because we're gonna be doing a triangle going from the bottom up, um, I wanted to mention the uh, multiple but we're gonna be starting off small. Okay, we're gonna begin by putting a slip knot on our hook. Wrap the yarn around your fingers to make a loop bring the yarn behind the loop, reach in with your hook, bring up a loop and tighten. Next, we're gonna do a starting chain of 10. We're gonna be working upward and outward. So the bottom of our little shawlette will be very uh, small, it'll be short. So to make a chain, wrap the yarn around the hook and bring it through the loop. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, and 10. Now we're going to go into the fourth chain from the hook and work a double crochet. So the loop on your hook does not count. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, and 4 and work a double crochet. To make a double crochet, wrap the yarn around the hook, insert it into that fourth chain from the hook, bring up a loop, you'll have three loops on the hook. Wrap the yarn around the hook, bring it through the first two loops, wrap the yarn around the hook, bring it through the last two loops. Then we're going to work a double crochet into the next chain, and already the colors are changing and it's so much fun, just as a side note. And then into the next chain, we're going to work a double crochet, and then chain three, one, two, three, and then we're going to work a double crochet into the same chain, okay? So double crochet into that same chain. Then we're going to skip the next chain and then work a double crochet in each of the next two chains, okay? So double crochet into the next two chains, so double crochet in the next chain, double crochet in that next chain, and then you'll have one chain left at the end of your first row here, we're just going to work a double crochet into that chain as well. Okay, so that last three chains, we're just working a double crochet into each one of those, okay? So row one is complete. It doesn't look like a whole lot now, but we do have some neat color changing happening, and we have a little opening here, okay? So what we want to do for row two is to chain five. One, two, three, four, five and turn our work and then what we're going to do is skip over this whole section here and go to that remember that uh, chain three we did that created a space you can see the space in the middle in the written pattern it's called the chain three space okay so hop over to that chain three space and what we're going to do is work in that space we're going to work three double crochet one two three Then we're going to chain three. Let me get a little bit more yarn here. Chain three. Oh, it's wrapped around my ring there. One, two, three. And then in that same space, work a double crochet. Just like that, okay? Then we're going to hop to the end of the row here. And we remember we did a turning chain? That created a space. So that turning chain, at the end there is a little space. It almost looks like a backwards, uh, like a letter D, okay? So in that turning chain space, we're going to work three double crochet. One. Two. Whoops, I missed my loop. There we go. And three. then chain three. One, two, three, and then one double crochet in that same turning chain space, okay? So here's row two. We're starting to get a little bit of our shape here, okay? Okay, so what we're going to do for the rest of our piece is just keep repeating row two over and over and over again, okay? We're going to do it a couple more times together just so you get a feel for it, and then you can move on when you're ready. Okay, so let's once again chain five. One, two, three, four, five, and turn. Now, hop over to that first chain three space, and we're going to work three double crochet in that chain three space. One, two, three chain three, one, two, three, and one more double crochet in that same chain three space, okay? So as you can see, we're starting to get some width and some height here. Okay, in the next chain three space, you're gonna do the same thing. Work three double crochet, one, two, three, chain three, one, two, three, and one more double crochet in that same space. Okay, just like that. 
All right, now, remember that turning chain space, that chain five and turn in the turning chain space as well, we're gonna do the same thing. So three double crochet, one, let's get a little bit more yarn here, two, three, chain three. One, two, three, and one more double crochet in that turning chain space, okay? Let's look at our progress here. We're starting to expand outward and upward. It's looking really pretty. So what you're gonna do is just keep going. You're just gonna keep repeating row two over and over and over again until you either uh, run out of your yarn or your piece is as wide and as tall as you would like it to be. So let's do one more together. We're gonna re just keep repeating row two. So once again, chain five. One, two, three, four, five, and turn your work. And then in that first chain three space you come to, work your three double crochet, one, two, three, chain three, one, two, three, and work a double crochet in that same space, okay? Hop over to the next chain three space and work three double crochet, one, two, three, chain three. One, two, three, and one more double crochet in that same space. Hop over to the next chain three space and do the same thing. Three double crochet. One, two, three, chain three. One, two, three, and a double crochet in that same space. All right, and then to finish off the row, this is all familiar, we've done this a couple times now. In that turning chain space, do the same thing. Three double crochet, one, two, three, chain three, one, two, three, and a double crochet in that same space, okay? Okay, so just keep re repeating row two over and over and over again. And then when we rejoin, we're gonna finish it up. Just coming up to that very last stitch of our shawlette. And then what we're gonna do, I just wanted to show you, I don't have enough to make another row. So I'm pretty much done. So what I'm gonna do is cut the yarn just to make the tail weaving a little bit more manageable. And then we're gonna wrap it around the hook and pull it through to fasten off. And then any tails you have, you can go ahead and weave those in now. So what I'm going to do is grab my tapestry needle. And I'm just going to go in one direction here with my tail. And when you have something that's kind of open and lacy like this, you just want to kind of be real careful. Just go in those areas where there's stitches and don't kind of cross over an open area. So we're just gonna go in one direction, pull it through like that, and then I'm gonna bring it back in, an, in the opposite direction just to kind of help lock my tail into place, okay? So pull it through the opposite way, and then we're just gonna give a little snip, and that's it. So if you just look at our chalette, it looks so gorgeous. I have a couple different ways Let's zoom out. I have a couple different ways to wrap the shawlette. You can wear it sort of on your shoulders like this. You can bring this bottom point to one side and drape it over your shoulder, sort of wear it asymmetrically. So hop on over to the blog and look at all the different ways to style your shawlette. And this is just a fun and pretty little accessory. So that is how you crochet the chocolate covered strawberry shawlette. Thanks so much for watching and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest Fiber Flux video updates. Thanks again.